Welcome back friends. Uh, in this video tutorial, we'll be talking about another very interesting pathway that is called the notch pathway. Notch pathway is also a type of developmental uh, pathway because it is related with the developmental stages or embryogenesis of multicellular organisms, many multicellular organisms actually. And notch pathway works slightly differently in a notch specific manner uh, compared with the other type of pathway like WNT or hedgehog pathway. Because in this case uh, of notch pathway, you will see what is called a notch cleavage or cleavage mediated pathway. So let's see what we mean. This pathway is called as notch pathway because of uh, a specific receptor that was found onto the surface of the cell membrane that is called as a notch receptor. Notch receptor is nothing but a single membrane spanning uh, multi subunit containing protein that is present. Most of its structures are extracellular. Very small amount of uh, this protein is in is present in the cytosol and then there is a small subunit called NICD attached with each of these notch receptors out there as you can see it here NICD is attached. Now the idea in this case of pathway is that generally this notch pathway is very much important for the cell cell communication remember cell cell communication during the development of majorly neural neuronal development as well as the development of heart as well as uh, the development of other stem cells like hematopoietic stem cells and so on so what happens actually cells are present and the cells are secreting all those all those chemical factors and everything to cross talk with themselves let's say these are the two cells that are present one after another they have to cross talk between them to tell actually how to develop how to bring more cell division and finally uh, do the angiogenesis so that they start to make the organ properly now in that case uh, that signaling can be passed through a process let's say one cell secretes a particular chemical and it migrates to another cell and tell the cell but in case of notch signaling pathway this is the notch receptor present at one surface of one cell and another cell starts secrete that ligand with another type of receptor so that ligand is denoted here with this green color. Let's say this ligand is from another cell, another cell or by a nearby cell, whatever you say is from another cell. Now this ligand from another cell will interact with the notch receptor that is found on the cell nearby. And in this case, this ligand notch binding will change the structure of that protein, slight modification of the structural conformation. And as a result, there is a functionality of this protein called gamma secretase, as you can see it here. As the name suggests, this help in secretion of certain things. What are the, what are the thing? In this case, this gamma secretase helps to cleave this NICD portion. And what we'll actually do, this ligand and notch, and sometimes some other receptor also from other cell, will bring this notch out from this cell and as a result NICDs get, get cleaved and one NICDs get cleaved this NICD is now being transported inside the nucleus and then it will turn on the notch signaling pathway because normally there are certain obviously there are certain target genes in any signaling process there should be target genes in case of notch signaling pathway also there are target genes which should be transcribed into mRNA and then later translated into proteins now in those cases those genes are turned off because there is a inhibitory transcription factor sitting on the promoter of those DNA. As you can see, it's CSL, N-core. These are the two different proteins combined together, blocking the activity and expression of certain genes inside the DNA, uh, inside the nucleus. Now, normally it's turned off, but now one NICD is inside the nucleus. This NICD will dissociate N-core from CSL. And once CSL becomes free from NCOR, it becomes activating agent. In that case, it will also bring another protein components like P300, MAML, and then finally, this NACD helps this MAML and P300 to attach with the CSL and make CSL activated. So make an activation complex. This activation transcription factor complex helps in turning on many downstream genes. Uh, which are called the target genes for notch pathway and finally it helps to establish the task not notch pathway is being doing that is simply the angiogenesis genetic pathways neuronal development and also development of uh, the cardiac valve and also development of you know paracrine system in certain extent 
and also hematopoiesis is an important task that is played by the notch pathway. It's extremely important. It was found in not only in human but also found in C. elegans, uh, drosophila in all these cases. So it's a very, very important pathway and it is a crosstalk pathway between two different cells. So that's it uh, for the notch pathway. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that because you've seen next video we'll be talking about JNK pathway also. So like the video as well as share this video. Thank you.